Welcome back to Yarn's Word Challenge. Today we're unraveling this tricky little acronym. Um, I'll go with professional. Lock it in. And digital. Last one. Uh, and format. No, no, no. File. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, professional digital file. Yeah. You are 100% wrong. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jan, an events manager here at Canva. How did you do on that challenge? The answer is portable document format. But I still think professional digital file works too. After all, PDFs are a file type that maintains consistent digital formatting and appearance across different devices and platforms offering universal compatibility and security. Therefore, in my humble opinion, making it more professional. Anyway, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to make a PDF, edit a PDF, collaborate on a PDF, and even how to translate a PDF. Let's begin with the making, because that's really easy. With your document open in Canva, simply go to the Share menu. Hit Download. Oh look, it's already choosing PDF for me. This is the standard PDF version. It's the smallest size and perfect for sending digitally. If quality is important, choose PDF Print. This will give you a larger file, but it's better for printing. The PDF will download to your computer and... And that's it. It's really that simple. That was a typical business document, but it works on most document types. Presentations? No problem. Just go to Share, choose Download, PDF Standard this time because it's all about small file sizes. Download and done. Um, look, if I could make it more difficult just to use up time, then I would, but it really is that easy. Did you know you can also add in live links? Say I had some references or additional research that I wanted people to be able to see. Just select the text, choose the three dots and hit link. Add in the URL and it's now a live link that will still work in the PDF. Oh, and while we are here, you can create live buttons, just like in a website. Write on it what it does. Again, add a link. You can just hit Command K on your keyboard. This time, choose one of the pages in the document. Then, when we make the PDF, you can see that the links still work and the button now takes us to the page we directed it to. Isn't that cool? Now, it's worth mentioning that PDFs don't support audio, video or animation. If your presentation has them in it, you could make an MP4, share a link or, what I would suggest, make a view-only link. Before I show you that, if you're enjoying this, you should check out our tips from the team playlist and subscribe. It's really the best way to learn Canva design skills and see how it can help level up your communication. We upload design tips and tricks every week, taught by Canva insiders like me. If you're interested in creating business documentation, this might be a good one to watch after this. Okay, this presentation has a bunch of videos in it, an audio track, animations, all sorts of things that are moving and shaking. If I go here and select view only link, I can share over messaging services or email or via a QR code. This is what people will see when they click on it. All the video and animation and even the audio is maintained. Even the buttons still work. People can react here or share it with others. Here. The best thing is you can see what's happening back in Insights. If you're a pro or Canva for Teams user, you can even see what links they're clicking on. If you want to segment your audience, you could create unique links here so you can see which groups are engaging more. Isn't that cool? The best thing, if you notice a spelling mistake or some of the data has changed, 
you can just update it and it will be reflected in what people see. No need to resend the link. What about if that happens with an existing PDF? You notice something that needs to change? Well, with Canvas PDF Editor, that's easy. On the homepage, just drag and drop the PDF you need to edit. We'll work our magic and break the PDF into editable elements, so you can convert and customize like any other design asset. Add in the new text or change images. Adjust fonts like this, colors here. Maybe you have some colleagues that need to be part of the process. No problem. Just add them in here and choose what permission they need. They can jump in and collaborate with you in real time. Leave comments for team members like this. They'll get a notification and can reply and comment. And when everyone is happy, just make a PDF like before or a view only link if that'll work better for you. Okay, one thing I'll show you that is super cool is the Translate app. Go into Apps, search for Translate, select it, choose the language you want, and hit this button. It'll create a new page translated into the language you chose. Isn't that amazing? There's over 100 languages you can choose from. And really, that's all there is for PDFs. It's that easy. Any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Oh, hi, you're still here with us. Looking for some more design inspiration? Check out that playlist with some more design videos. What about this one over here? See you later.